Let's demonstrate how to change a perforated plate on the Gilson SA45 soil grinder. The Gilson soil grinder is an effective method for reducing caked soil to individual grains in less than 30 seconds per pint. Included within the all-in-one hopper, grinding chamber, and chute assembly is a number 10 perforated stainless steel plate to retain oversized particles. But number four and number 35 sized plates are available as alternatives for your unique soil grinding needs. To change the perforated plate, you first unplug the unit from its power source. Next, loosen the two self-locking nuts, attaching the U-bracket to the unit. Now loosen the front fastening bolt, which loosens the U-bracket, which in turn releases the grinding assembly from the unit. Now push the U-bracket towards the unit so that the U-bracket can be removed from the unit. The grinding assembly has two guide pins that align the assembly with the unit. Now pull the grinding assembly away from the unit. And finally, remove the old perforated plate and slide in the new one. To return the unit to operational order, align the grinding assembly guide pins to the unit, then seat the assembly on the unit. Return the U-bracket and tighten the front fastening bolt, which secures the grinding assembly to the unit. Tighten the nuts to the U-bracket until the U-bracket and the unit are firmly secured. For any questions about changing the perforated plate to a Gilson SA45 soil grinder, or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.